Ellie Leach, who won this year at Saturday's glamorous live final, was seen grinning from ear to ear as she exited the Strictly Come Dancing after party. Following each couple's three dances for the judges, the 22-year-old former Coronation Street actress defeated Bobby Brager and Leighton Williams to become the show's youngest ever champion. Around 3.30 a.m., Ellie, who was partnered with professional dancer Vito Coppola, departed the wild celebration without an. She clutched the glitter ball trophy in her automobile and smiled, a brilliant white smile. Ellie sported a patterned trench coat, ankle boots, and a black miniskit, creating an elongated silhouette. Helen Skelton looked stunning as she left the party, dressed in a pink blazer and glittering fishnet pants. Amy Dowden grinned for the cameras while wearing a coat and pants with a black fur grin. The family of the soap star broke down in tears as they watched from the studio audience, while Ellie and Vito, who are rumored to be an item, were both shocked to hear their names. Before speaking to hosts Des Daly and Claudia Winkleman, the overcome couple fought back tears as they gave each other a hug. Ellie was astounded and muttered, I really truly cannot believe this, before bursting out that she had never seen Vito, 31, weep before. This is intended for you. After Ellie told her spouse, he called her a diamond and stated the victory was only the cherry on top. They put the glitter ball trophy over the shoulders of their erstwhile rivals, sparking fireworks and confetti raining from the ceiling. The Posse Doble, Show Dance, and American Smooth were the three dances the couple performed in the final, and they had continued to impress. The judges praised the actress for her growth and growing confidence during her time on the show, giving the final contestant a perfect score of 40 out of 50. Craig Revel Horwood, Shirley Ballas, Motsi Mabuse, and Anton Duby call received 10 marks apiece for the flawless routine. Vito tried to control his emotions when addressing co-host Claudia Lay. He remarked, for me, Ellie is strictly, but he later put his arms around her and declared, she is my winner anyway. The program began with their sultry Pasa Doble, which received a standing ovation and an amazing 39 out of 40 points for their seductive performances in skimpy outfits. Once more, the judges were gushing over how much the former soap star had improved over the course of the series. However, the couple's evening went smoothly following their somewhat less disastrous show dance, in which they made a few blunders and a fail blith. Ellie slipped as she attempted to jump onto the Italian's shoulders, allowing him to save her before she reached the ground. Vito tried to console her by wrapping his arms around her and giving her several cheek kisses as she appeared distressed by the air. Judge Shirley said, Do you know what's a man? How you saved it you didn't pan. In reference to the fall, the pair then joined Tess Daly and host Claudia Winkleman to discuss their 36 out of 40 marks. It was reported earlier this month that Vito and Ellie had been dating for more than a month. After being accused of fabricating their romance to gain votes, the couple has been in the public eye. However, a close friend of Ellie's disclosed that they have only been dating for a few weeks. The Mirror was informed by a source that the relationship between the dancer and the screen actress is genuine. Ellie has apparently told acquaintances about her new relationship with Vito and that he has visited her home multiple times outside of training. They were amicable at first, but as the weeks passed, their friendship shifted. Ellie has expressed to friends her happiness with Vito, the acquaintance remarked. She is not the type of person who would fabricate something to get more vote. She doesn't like to put on a show. When you spend time with her, you get what you see. Ellie was insecure and self-conscious when she first started Strictly. It's beautiful how confident she is now. Leighton, 29, and his professional partner Nikita Kuzmin, 25, put on a fierce competition that night, winning full points for their amazing debut performance. The two had previously performed a spirited quick step in week two. The judges praised Leighton with a standing ovation, stating that he had encouraged young boys to dance at home. The actor has drawn criticism for allegedly having an unfair competitive advantage due to his West End experience. They also gave a performance dance to Neo's Friend Like Me and their all-time favorite dance, Laureen's Tango to Tattoo. While this was going on, EastEnders actors Bobby Brazier, 20, and Diane Biswell, 34, also dazzled with their samba performance, almost missing out on a perfect score of 39 out of 40. 
He moved the audience to tears later in the show when he performed his couple's choice in memory of his mother, Jade Goody. On Mother's Day in March 2009, Bobby was just five years old when Jade, who became famous on Big Brother in 2002, passed away from cervical cancer. His younger brother, Freddie, 19, and father, 44-year-old TV host Jeff, reared him alone. The two of them shed a few tears as they observed from the crowd. After the routine was initially seen on the competition last month, Bobby decided to perform it again in this weekend's final. The actor also moved judges Anton Dubique and Matsim Abuse to near tears during their remarks. When Amy Dowden returned to the show's dance floor early in the program, viewers were moved to tears once more. The 33-year-old professional dancer missed this year's performance while undergoing treatment after receiving a breast cancer diagnosis in May and a mastectomy in July. She has appeared on the show and its spin-off it takes two, but prior to the final, she has never danced with other pros. However, she returned to the dance floor on Saturday, choosing not to wear a wig because she had lost her hair as a result of chemotherapy.